Greetings YouTube, this is Fragments of Memory, aka The Armchair Philosopher. I recently attended a spoken word event where I purchased a book entitled The Hard Journey Home. It is a collection of essays written by those who have served or are currently serving time in America's prisons, aka correctional facilities. As I've been perusing some of the essays, I noticed that many of them are authored by members of minority groups, mainly black Americans. It is here that I start to ask myself, is the so-called American dream only for a certain kind of American? And if this is true, is the American system set up for blacks to fail? Let me at this point offer up the obligatory disclaimer. I am not a victocrat, as many conservative political pundits would try to pass me off as. Content with explaining any lack of progress with the reality that I am an American-born, American-educated black man. I do not blame the white man for everything that goes wrong in the so-called black community. With that being said, I still feel that my question is valid. Just because I affirm the principle of personal responsibility and have had those ideals instilled in me and by both my parents and my educators, it doesn't mean that I am blind to the obstacles that black people face in America. As I have remarked in some of my past videos, my mother told me around the age of 12, 13, that I had one strike against me merely for being black. And I can recall with vividness, my son, you have one strike against you. You are black. And anyway, I digress. I sometimes ask, is the system set up for black people to fail? And reading this book here, The Hard Journey Home, and here it is, I ask myself, And this question has been posed in this book. Do the, do, 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 does the prison system in this country really reform a person or just merely hold them? And then when they've served their time, they can go out on the streets. But of course, now that they, are, they have been cultivated in a prison system, and the only thing they know how to do is prison, and they know crime, but they don't know anything else. Are we merely setting people up just to go through the revolving door that is prison? I mean... Here's an excerpt from the book, from a book. It's an essay called Revolving Doors, The Story of My Life. And it was a gentleman by the name of Jonathan M. Petty. And he talks about going to jail. And in his essay, he talks about when he got out, he really was determined to do the right things. But it seemed he would just fill out job application after job application and couldn't get a job due to his prison background. So he thought, yeah, let me, let me do my little hustle I used to do. So he kept doing his hustle, but he was still trying to get a job to his credit, but to his detriment, he kept hanging with the wrong, the old people that he hung with before he went to jail. And mind you, here, here's an excerpt from, the, from, from his essay, which really tripped me out. It says right here, it says right here, let me go back a little bit. After making rounds around the west side, stopping at friends' and family's houses, bars, and the hotel Deanna, Dion had lined up with a couple of chicks, we pulled into my mother's driveway at about four o'clock in the morning. I was drunk, but I hadn't hit one blunt or done anything I considered illegal. I had a key, so I let myself in as quietly as possible. I went to my room and closed the door. I emptied all of my pockets on the bed and took a step back and looked at the blocks of crack and the bills of money I now had in my possession. Welcome home gifts from fam friends and family. I still felt no pressure to sell dope again, so I told myself I'd give it to Erica and Dion. All the blocks equaled about two ounces of crack. I stuffed it into a pair of socks and put it in the drawer. The money looked like more than it was, $375, and my niece had given me 200 of that. It's a trip in the hood how friends and family can't afford to give you money in a time of need, but can give you $2,000 worth of drugs. So... It's interesting that that po that thing jumped out at me in the essay was your family can can't afford no money when you're in a real in real sincere need, but they can give you two thousand dollars worth of drugs to go sell in slang. So I can sort of understand when you fill out the job applications and you can't get the job. Now this isn't me excusing the bad behavior. This isn't me saying it's okay to go out and slang because you can't get anything legitimate. But I do recognize that it's harder 
when you when you have a jail cell record. It's harder when you when you have been a part of that jail culture and you're trying to get out of it. And I don't speak from experience. I just speak from I speak from hearing the stories of people that have been incarcerated. So it is amazing that when you try to do the right thing, it does seem it's harder and harder to do the right thing and it's easier to do the wrong thing. Um, going back, here's another excerpt here that I thought was interesting. It says, from the time you're born, you start to learn. And for some of us, the values and way of life that we are taught over and over again don't mesh with the values and laws of society. And sometimes I think that's the state of black people in America. Sometimes I think that what we learn in our communities, especially those blacks that are struggling, though I know there are affluent and rich blacks, there are many blacks that are struggling and trying to make ends meet. And I understand that, oh, excuse me, that I as a black man, sorry, itchy nose, I as a black man have to deal with Things like having to fill out a job application, how someone will see my blackness before they see me. And I wonder, am I set up to fail? I can even, I even like to look at the metaphor of the comic book character Howard the Duck, created by Steve Gerber. Marvel Comics is uh, Howard the Duck. And his tagline, his whole thing is, he's a duck from a parallel universe. He's intelligent and he walks upright. But... Howard is trapped in our world and he doesn't understand human beings and the comic is very satirical talking about human life and is seen through the eyes of a talking duck. And in a sense, I think that's sort of how we as blacks in America are in that we're trapped in a world we didn't make. So I find that too often we're the fuel that, that charges up the prison systems with a fuel that charges up that that that's you know that helps the the prison which is a big business i will personally come on here and say prison is a big 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 business no ifs ands or buts about it and i sometimes think that our very own our very own system seems to profit on us being downtrodden The book just merely makes me want to ask the question. So I'm at the stage where I'm still asking that question. Is the system set up for me as a black man or for any black women out there, for you as a black woman just to fail and get caught up in the nightmare that is the prison system or that is poverty or that is insanity? Well, that's what I have so far. Um, just send me some comments, send me some notes, and just really, really rap with me about this. And even make a video response if you're able. Take care.